channel. Today I'm going to be doing my awaited haul video. I cannot even believe I'm finally getting to do this. Um, it's a haul video from where we went to Disney World and so I'm so excited to share it with you and um, I tell you I've got quite a bit of stuff because I'm going to include some Christmas goodies from my husband Brad and from Mitzi. So um, yeah I got a good bit to show you so we got to get started. But I want to show you first because this is going to be a separate video but I want to show you that I have some pins to show you and not only this bag but I've got one bag two bags three bags four bags five Six, seven, eight bags of pins to show you, y'all. I think I tried counting them, and there's almost a hundred here. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh, between what I purchased at Disney, what um, I got for Christmas, and some things that other people have given me for Christmas and my birthday. I have near a hundred pins to show you. So, to say the least, I will not have time to show you these pins in this video. So, it'll be coming up really soon after this haul video. So, keep an eye out for that, okay? Especially if you really love pins. What I'm going to start with now is my haul goodies. So, um, I have a huge bag. Look at this bag, y'all. It is slap full of stuff. Can you believe it? And then I have stuff all over the floor. So, we need to get started. So, let's go. So, this stuff is not going to be in any order. I I did think I was going to try to combine um, and show you things by categories and it just, I didn't have, I, it's not going to happen. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each one out of the bag and I'm just going to tell you where they came from. Um, it'll be just random. So uh, just be sure to get ready for that. <laughs> so anyway. The first thing I want to show you is a top that I got at the Character Warehouse. This was our very first time going to the Character Warehouse, and I loved it. It was wonderful. We went to both of them. There's the one on Vineland, and there's one on International Drive. And the one on International Drive is really, in my opinion, the best one. Um, it is the furthest away from the parks, but um, it's worth traveling there to, to, to visit and to shop. So they did have more pin selection, and it seemed like they just had more stuff in general but um but yeah even if you could just get to violent that would be awesome but i picked up this shirt it it you know i'm very patriotic i, I think i've mentioned that before that i love um fourth of july i'm very patriotic so i saw this shirt it was only nine dollars and it says laugh love Mickey and it's just so cute. It's a white background and then it just has stars uh, Red and blue stars on it. So I just thought that was super cute and for nine bucks, you know I mean this was con a considerable markdown from what it was in the park. So I had to get it I just loved it. So that is gonna be something fun to wear to the parks and to just kick around in so love this and then also at the outlet um the character warehouse i found this epcot 35 visor and i'll see if i can get it closer for you to see and it is um a beautiful cinnamon color and it has the epcot logo right here and then it's got epcot 35 and then around the back, it's got this beautiful colored banded elastic band um, for your um, the back of your head. And I don't normally wear, I like the visors that doesn't have anything back there and it's just really firm right here um, that you just slide on your forehead. But this was so cute and it was only $5.99. 
I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? It's regularly 20 bucks. So I got one of these and I love it. So I'm definitely gonna wear that. And then also, y'all, I think this was like 99 cent. Um, it is a shopper tote and it has the same coloring. Um, it has the uh, Spaceship Earth with the Epcot 35 down here. It's just beautiful. And I just thought it's the same on this side as well. I just thought it was so cute. And for the price, you could not beat that. I just loved it. So I got that. Also, I found this lanyard. Uh, Mitch and I just love this Epcot 35, um, this whole theming, this whole branding, we just love it. We love, it just really reminds us of our childhood. So we were growing, we were just small little things in the 70s, but this was so popular back then. It just brings back so memories, so many memories. And it just says Epcot 35, just like the hat and everything else did. And y'all, this was $5.99 also. And then, um, I found these lanyard pouches that go with it and these are just darling. It has the same um, Epcot logo down here and y'all this has the cutest little Epcot uh, medallion or charm on it as well and I just thought that was darling and so this was marked down to $2.99. So that was a no brainer. So got the lanyard and the lanyard pouch um, for Epcot, love that. And then also something else that I purchased um, at the character warehouse was this, which it kind of, the box has gotten a little beat up in the bag, but it is a mug that is the same branding um, that says Epcot 35 right here. And you can't really probably see it, but there is a very um, a tone on tone um, printing of Starbucks on here. So it is a Starbucks mug and it was only $5.99. And I love this. Meetsy loved it. And I was like, I got her one too. And I was like, oh my goodness, I've got to have this. And again, it was only $5.99. But look how beautiful this thing is. It's so beautiful. And just that gorgeous um, Epcot logo. It's just a very plain um white background, which when you have all of this, you don't need a lot of color. And then on the back, it has the Starbucks um, logo there as well. So I just love it. And it's this dark, um, it looks like it's a dark navy or purple on the inside. I can't tell with all the lights in my eyes, but this is just so beautiful. So yeah, Mitzi and I both got one of these and we both love them. One more thing that we got um, at the outlet, and I think I got this at the Vineland outlet. All of the other stuff I got at um, the International um, Drive outlet. So this is a beautiful mug, and you know what? I can't even believe I've been getting so many mugs. That I don't normally buy a lot of uh, this kind of stuff, but this was so pretty. It was $5. $0.99. It's the Nightmare Before Christmas. Isn't it just beautiful? And it's on a black background. And I just think it's lovely. And it just says Nightmare Before Christmas. And so, yeah, Mitch and I both got one of these. So, love this. You just can't beat some of those deals at the outlets. I can't even get over it. So, Here's one more thing, um, and it's not a mug, but you know I'm a huge Star Wars fan, and when I saw this, I could not even believe the pricing. This is a official laser sale, and it's from the Disney Cruise Line and Star Wars. Y'all, look at this. Look how beautiful that is. You have the Death Star right here, and then you have the cruise ship right here. And it's, it's all matted and really thick, and it says Star Wars Day at Sea. Isn't that just beautiful? I know there's a glare from the light. I'm going to try to get it so you can see it without the glare. But love it. It is so pretty. 
And y'all, this was regularly $29.95 and it was on sale for $1.99. <gasps> I can't even believe it. I was just shocked. So yeah, I snatched it up so fast, but I would love to frame this. I've never been on a Disney cruise yet, but I promise you we're going to try that one day. And um, yeah, I already have this. So love that. And that came from I think International Drive. So love that. Now I think, unless I'm mistaken, I think that might be all that I picked up from the outlet store. So let's just sneak on in to the other stuff. So um, you know from my vlogs I had to get this. I decided to get a pair of mini ears. Aren't they beautiful y'all? Love, love, love this plaid. And y'all look at this beautiful sequins that are on the ear part. It's just gorgeous. And it has a satin material down here. And on this side it says Merry and Bright right there in glitter silver um, stitching. It's just beautiful. That's the back view. This is the front view and I love it. I had a shirt that was very similar to this print and I just fell in love with these ears. I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and I was like, no, I'm not gonna get them. These were $27 and I just, I know ears are expensive, but you know, I don't wear ears that often and I was like, ooh, do I wanna spend 30 bucks to wear it one day? But I did, so I got these and y'all know what gutted me was that um probably two weeks not even after we got back home I watched someone on YouTube do a walkthrough of the outlets they had these ears for like five bucks I I about had a heart attack but to go from $27 to $5 oh I was just in tears I was like are you kidding me but I'm so glad I got them though I love them and I will continue to wear these I really really love them very very pretty I'm glad I got them and y'all Disney has got now where they don't um they don't make them so tight anymore at least this pair wasn't and I also tried on the millennial pink which I just wish I had got um but they were comfortable as well so you know there's hope for me that I can maybe wear some Disney ears and they not kill my head so yeah I wore these all day and didn't have a bit of problem so love these y'all I lied I lied I do have uh something else from the um character warehouse they had these beautiful postcards. You know, my friend Karen has sent me this exact postcard before. And um, when I saw it, I just fell in love and said, I have to get that. And it is a Woody's Roundup gang. And y'all, this was marked down to $1.99. So, and then this one is of The Incredibles. And I love this also, and it was marked down to $1.99. So don't forget to check the postcards. Um, I think I think I found these up near the register. So don't forget to check the little goodies up around the register, like the little shelves when you're waiting in line. Um, you can find some really, that's where I found my Star Wars um, sale. So you can find some really good goodies there too. Y'all, let me show you this. Um, you know, I know y'all have probably seen it. I'm late to the party, so to speak. But um, this is my Christmas uh, refillable mug. It's the first time I've ever had one of these. This is the first year that I've seen them. And they are just darling. Let me show you if it'll focus for you. This is Mickey with a Christmas hat on. And then you've got um, Pluto and you've got Minnie. So they're just adorable and I think they do have some with the red handles uh, but the ones that Brad and I got um, were black. That's the only ones we saw at our resort. So yeah we both got one of those. Okay one more thing that I want to show you is when we went to Hollywood Studios if you watched our Hollywood Studios vlog you would see um, that we got our little green man for Christmas. I was so, oh my gosh, 
my friend Dana, the Mouse Diva, she had gone, I don't know, a couple of weeks before us, and she was going to try to pick um, herself and me up one of these um, when she was there, and they were sold out. She couldn't find them anywhere. So, um, I was like, oh no, they're not going to have them when I get there. But when we got to Hollywood Studios that morning, we went straight to the same popcorn stand that I bought ours at when we were at Toy Story Land. And I picked up Dana one, and I picked me one up, and I was so happy to have gotten it. It's so beautiful. Now I have the one from Toy Story Land and the one for Christmas so I love it I'm telling you I'm just so addicted to these popcorn buckets you have no idea um, but it is just darling and I love it it is just adorable so yeah so got my popcorn bucket and y'all this was $25 all the other popcorn buckets were like um oh my gosh they were like $12 $15 but this one was $25 so um, but it was worth it. I'm so glad I got it. So love that. And then y'all, um, something else that I wanted to pick up. I was at the pen shop there at Magic Kingdom, the one in Frontierland. I forget what it's called. Something post maybe. And I thought I was there buying pens and I saw the cast member start bringing these out. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get one. So y'all, I got the Mary Poppins Magic Band. I can't even believe it. I was like, oh no, I could not believe I was actually at the parks when they released something. And so I had to get it. Look at the box. It is just adorable. And I love it. Look at the blue and I mean the teal green. It is just so pretty. So let me show you the inside. Oh, wow. It is so pretty, y'all. Oh, honestly, this is the first Magic Band that I've actually bought, limited edition, that was not a Dooney and Burke. All the other Magic Bands have been our free ones that we get for going to Disney, or they've been Dooney and Burke. So, this is the first one that I've ever bought that was not a Dooney and Burke. So, let me take it out of the box and show it to you. The limited edition of 1500. Look at her holding her bag. It's so pretty. And then on this side, you have the umbrella. Isn't that beautiful? So, yeah, the color yellow is just so pretty. I love it. It is just beautiful. So, and it has the kites and all of the flowers. It's just a beautiful, beautiful band. So, yeah. So, that's my Mary Poppins magic band. Love that. Okay, something else that I want to show you is this Pixar ball. I actually got this ball um, before, I mean, after I come back from Disney. Um... I didn't see it in the park. It could have been there and I just didn't see it. But it actually come out on Shop Disney. Um, very briefly. It sold out almost immediately. And I thought, oh my gosh. I thought, I have to get it. It's so pretty. And I love Pixar. And um, I actually bought two. So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I did a little contest um, to name Brad's new Banshee. And um, yeah, so um, yeah, love that. And um, I'm going to display that somewhere in my room. I'm not sure where yet, but I just loved it. It was very inexpensive. Just like under ten dollars so um had to pick that up so love my pixar ball and then um i want to show you now um some christmas goodies um i'm just so blessed um mitzi was so good to me this year um uh, my husband i mean our whole disney trip was part of my christmas and he never fusses when i want to pick up something or buy something and so um uh, i was just so excited for my christmas gift which was my disney um uh, vacation and then my friend karen sent me some goodies and then it's just been an amazing christmas so let me show you 
you this. Minty, um, she gave me this for Christmas, but it is a, um, a Thomas Kincaid puzzle, and it is Beauty and the Beast. Isn't that just gorgeous? It's 750 pieces. And the scene is just beautiful. I just love it so much. And it's such an elegant picture. And, um, oh my goodness, I would love to just have a, a print of this to frame. I guess I could put the puzzle together <laughs> and frame it. But it is just gorgeous. Love it so much. So, yeah, after my haul video, I really want to try to work on this and see if I can't get it put together. And then, Mitzi also gave me some Pez. I kind of, just a little bit, collect Pez. And um, I only have very few, but she knows I'm a huge Ariel and Belle um, fanatic. And so, she got me um, both of those. And, of course, I'm not going to open them, but they're just darling, and I'm definitely going to keep them and take care of them and um, love those. And then, um, Mitzi also gave me these awesome little slippers. They look like socks on the top. And of course, it's Little Mermaid. But then, when you turn it over, look at the the foot. It's a real thick, foamy. It has grips on it, kind of like you get when you go in the hospital. But they're hard, you know, kind of hard a little bit, and they're cushiony. Um, they take uh, a padded sock to a whole nother level. But these are just darling. It's the Little Mermaid Ariel. And, um, yeah, I love these. They're so comfy. And it's just great to have around the house. When you want to kick around the house and not really put on shoes or something, these are perfect. So, thank you, Mitzi. And then, um, like I said, I'm just skipping around because all my stuff is just in this bag. But I found something else that I got at, um the character warehouse and it is this beautiful um magnet and again it's from the epcot 35th let's see if we can get a little closer and get it focused there you go it's from the epcot 35th and look at the beautiful banding on that and the big logo it's just so pretty and y'all, this was only $3.99. And it has kind of like a little glass effect on it. You see the shine on it? So pretty. And I'm so excited to put that on my fridge. So, love this. It's super, super cute. And then, um, I found me some keychains. Um, you know I love little keychains. And um, I just love everything everybody has sent me. I take them, y'all. I don't just put them in a drawer. I mean, I'll switch them out. I don't put a bunch on my keys at one time. But, um, but I love keychains. And y'all, this one especially. I, we, uh, we were at uh, Hollywood Studios. And this was amazing. I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. Y'all know I'm a huge Star Wars fan. And this is R2-D2. And I just love it. Look at this charm right there. Isn't that just beautiful? It just blends so beautifully with this. And it's such a heavy, thick piece. Look how gorgeous that back is on it. It's glass looking, like a mirror almost, and it says Star Wars on the back. But yeah, I love it. It is just so beautiful. Love that. It was a red price tag. So, um, love this keychain. And then I got another one. I think I got this one at our gift shop at our resort. And it is a mint green price tag. I'm sorry I don't have the legend for these, but um, I didn't think to take a picture of that. But this is a keychain that I got, and it's the Disney. Um, you see these a lot on magnets, and it's so cute. I love that big D. And um, it just says Disney, and I actually have a magnet on my refrigerator like this. So I was so excited to find the keychain. So love this. 
uh, real excited to have found that. So I love my keychains. Uh -huh. Another thing that Mitzi gave me for Christmas is this beautiful throw. Here is what the throw actually looks like. Look at that. It's a Pixar throw. It's a woven tapestry throw. It's 48 by 60. So it's not a real huge throw, but it is just enough to kind of cover up on um, in the chair if you're watching TV or something like that. But um, I'm going to open it up and show you a bit of it, okay? So hold on. Okay, y'all, here comes. Let's see if we can show you some of it. Look at it. This is it. Isn't it pretty? I hope you're seeing some of it. But I just love it. So, so cute. So I hope you saw that. <laughs> but I love it. Thank you so much, Mitzi. I really love it. Now I can use it. So love that. And y'all, something else that Mitzi gave me was my very first pair of Disney X Toms. I've never had any, y'all. Mitzi has some, and Mitzi likes them. Not, it's not something that we can work in, but because it don't have, it doesn't really have a lot of support. But it is an awesome shoe to kick around in, run the store in, go to a game, maybe go out to eat. Um, but these are just adorable. She gave me the Seven Dwarfs. Look at this. I'm gonna move that so I don't knock it off. But look at this. I wanna see if you can see some of it. But it's just so cute. And see, there's the tag right there on the back. Just darling. And you can see the tag here. So it is just adorable. And I love it. So I have tried them on and you know, they're not that bad at all. So it's a really cute shoe and I look forward to trying them. So yeah, she really likes them. So I don't know if any of you have some, you ought to comment below if you, if you have some and how you like them. But um, yeah, I'm excited to try them. And then also Mitzi gave me, look at this. It is a cocoa and mug set of The Incredibles. Look at there. And it's from The Incredibles 2. You get two mugs and packets of cocoa in it. And I love it. Look at that. So I haven't opened it because I wanted to show y'all before I actually opened it, but I just love it. So we've got the Incredibles on it and I look forward to drinking out of it. I might open this up tonight now that I'm showing y'all this. So love that. Thank you, Mitzi. Also y'all, I want to show you this. I actually bought this from Shop Disney. So I love these bags. They're so beautiful. And I got these on Shop Disney. Um, they were on sale and I took advantage of the sale, but they are just precious. The front and the back, I love these. And look at the inside uh, sides of them, just beautiful. So I'm telling you, they are really coming up with some beautiful packaging at Disney. So love these. Okay, then my friend Karen from Karen's USA Adventures, she is such a doll. She sent me for Christmas um, a stocking and some other goodies. Um, she sent all us girls um, some, and this is precious. It is the Cadbury, um, Christmas stocking. It has the Cadbury frog on the front and it says Cadbury right there. It's, it's embroidered and it's so nice y'all and inside it's empty now, but it was full of Cadbury chocolate and between my husband and myself, we killed it pretty fast. So, but we loved it. It was delicious and um, you can see in here on the tag, these were all of the goodies that were inside and we just, uh, we loved it. And then she sent Brad um, this huge package of these 
big humongous chocolate bars from Cadbury and Galaxy. Oh, he was in heaven because Brad is such a chocoholic. And so um, he was just tickle pink over those. And then Karen also sent me um, this beautiful plaque. Y'all, it's just so amazing. True friends are like diamonds, precious and rare. And that is so true, y'all. Um, through this channel, I have made some of the most incredible friends ever. And friendships that will truly last a lifetime. I mean that so much. And this is just so sweet and dear to me. So, thank you, Karen. And then also, I'm not going to show you now because... It's a pen. She sent me the most amazing pen. Oh my gosh, you just wait till you see. And that's gonna be part of my pen haul, but when I get to it, I'm gonna show you um, that it was my Christmas present from Karen. So, um, but anyway, she sent us the best package ever and we loved it. Thank you so much, Karen. But it was a great Christmas, thank you. And then y'all, Mitzi, Gave me a few more things that just took it over the top. Mitzi gave me a lot of pins. Uh, we really gifted each other with a lot of pins this year. And I'll show you that um, in the pin video. And I'll tell you what they are when we get to them. But she also gave me a couple other things, y'all, that was just awesome. And here it comes. <gasps> oh, my God. Yes. She gave me a lounge fly backpack and it's got stitch on it. Y'all, I'm going to bring it close and see if it'll focus for you. Look how adorable this is. Y'all, the gold hardware is amazing. I love it. This baby pink trim, it just matches and brings out the pink and the pattern. And then it's got this pretty blue plaque from Loungefly. It is just gorgeous. And y'all, look, the zipper is even gold. Look at those um, zipper pulls or these gorgeous gold hardware. Oh, I love it. And the um, trim on the part up here is this baby pink. Y'all, look at the straps. They're baby pink. Oh, and it's got stitch. There's your lounge fly and Disney tag. Look how beautiful it is. <gasps> I'm just so excited to carry it. I just love it. It's just like any of the other lounge fly backpacks. You have your zippered pouch here in the front, and then you have these pockets on the side. You can put water bottles or whatever. And um, yeah, it is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm not gonna show you the inside because I'm gonna do a review. I'm gonna wait and save something for my lounge fly um, reviews of my bags. So that's another video that's coming. I'm gonna do a review on my lounge fly bag and show you the inside and all the ins and outs of this bag okay so but just wanted to show you that Mitzi got me this gorgeous bag for Christmas and then not only did she get me that oh my gosh y'all are gonna flip out Oh my gosh, look at this studding. Oh, it's a Mickey. Okay, I'm going to try to get it close so you can see it. It has silver Mickey studs right in the quilted part of the pouch. Isn't that just stunning? Oh my gosh. And then it's got this gorgeous silver hardware. And bringing it on down, this beautiful shiny black plaque that has lounge fly and Disney. And y'all, look at this. <gasps> look at the bow. I'm not going to take the paper off the back. There's a little cardboard thing holding it up. I'm not going to take it off yet because I'm going to do a review with my stitch one. And I'll go through the whole ins and outs of it. But it has the ears up here. And on the back, it's just black straps. Very elegant, but yet fun. And look at this tag. Oh, look at me. 
Don't you just love it? It is the exact same um, style as the other one, the same pockets on the side, but look how gorgeous. Oh my God. It is amazing. I love it so much. Y'all, oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. I can't even give it up. Oh. You wait till you see the inside. You're gonna flip. Um, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna save something for the other video. I don't wanna give it all away here. So, um, cause this is such a random haul. I don't wanna mess up the actual review of it. But wait, wait. Can you believe it? Oh my God. Look. It has the quilting on the back, this beautiful red border, this gorgeous plaque again that shows Loungefly and Disney, and it's got the ears and the bow. And y'all, look, I hope it's focusing. It's that same Mickey silver studding and the quilting on the front. <gasps> it's so beautiful. The same tag. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I'm in heaven. Look at the lounge fly, um, zipper pull. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is unreal. She outdid herself. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh my gosh. I just was flipping out when I saw these. I mean, look! The wallet and the bag. And then she gave me this one too. Oh my Lord. I'm telling you. It's been the best Christmas. I tell you what. But she has really outdone herself. Thank you, Mitzi. And y'all wait till you see the pins. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. So, anyway. I've got one more thing to show you and it's from Brad. So actually I bought this right before we went to Disney. And I told my husband, I said, I can get it now and then I won't have to get it when I go to Disney. So let me show you what I got. Y'all ready? <laughs> yes! <laughs> He got me the pink dog, Dooney and Burke. Look how gorgeous. Y'all, I hope this is focusing. I'm gonna bring it up to the camera. But look how beautiful this bag is. It has these wonderful handles that I still have the paper on. I'm not gonna actually take all this off till I do my review of my bag. But, and y'all look at this. I'll give you a sneak peek of this. <gasps> Tassels on the zipper pull. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this thing is gorgeous. The most gorgeous color of pink. Look, oh my gosh. Y'all, I am in heaven. Between my lounge fly and my duty. Oh, Y'all, wait till you see all of this stuff. I cannot wait to take the wrapper off and show you everything. And y'all, I'm just gonna point this out real quick. Zero is right in the middle. And then there's Doug. And then there is Nana. And also, I've got Stitch right there. And then I've got my Beauty and the Beast footstool right there. I'm telling you, everything I could want on this bag. There's Max from Little Mermaid. It is just so beautiful. I love it. And I cannot wait to do my review. And so I can open it up and take all the goodies off of it. But yeah, Brad gave me um, this gorgeous Dooney and Burke for Christmas. And it is the doggies in the pink print. So love this. And then not only did he give me that, he gave me 
the matching, he gave me the matching magic band. Y'all, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, let me just take it out. It's limited edition of 3,000. Of course, I picked all this out, but he paid for it. <laughs> so, it has the Dooney and Burke tag right here on the front. And let me see if I can get it close to show you some of it. But it has the same pattern as what is on the um, handbag. And um, it has the same um, pet, you know, the doggy prints that are on the bag as well. So it is just beautiful. See the little paw there? It's just darling. I love it. And I just love the Dooney and Burke. It's a lot like the pass holder uh, slide that comes on because it moves. Um, so, yeah, love this. But, again, it's limited edition of 3000 And the box is just as beautiful. And um, it just has the beautiful um, uh, print also on the box. Love that. It's got Dooney and Burke on the side. So the very last thing that I want to show you um, is, and I'm not going to take it out of the bag yet because I will wait to the review, but because um, Brad bought the Dooney and Burke bag for $29, you got to get a cosmetic case. So oh, I love, you know, my favorite print of all time is the sketch print. So I was able to get um, the cosmetic case in the sketch print for just $29. And listen, if you get anything from Dooney and Burt for, for $29, you need to jump on it. But anyway, I love that Mickey and Minnie are right here on the front. And right on the back is Tinkerbell. And on the front, you've got Mickey and Minnie and this beautiful um, logo tag from Dooney and Burke in the Vaquetta Leather. And I love it. Oh my goodness. Y'all, also, it's got the castle on the back. I mean, I got amazing placement on this bag. So, just love it. Love it, love it, love it. So, I will definitely be doing a review of my bag and this. So, I got a lot of handbag reviews coming up, to say the least. So, um, be sure to look out for that. So, y'all, oh my gosh, is that it? and Karen and Brad gave me for Christmas. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all I got today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the haul. Keep an eye out. I've got so many more videos coming up. The pen video, the pen haul, the humongous pen haul is coming up very soon, so stay tuned for that. And thank y'all so much for watching and being part of my channel. You just make my day. So thank y'all again. We'll talk to you again. Bye!